Hi, I am Mr. James, and my mission is to help you prepare and perform at your best in your CSEC PUE or keep accounting exam using the power of video. Welcome to another Mr. James accounting tutorial. This time we are looking at accounting unit one of keep and uh, I'll be doing the entire series of past people from 2013 right down to 2019 and there was no people in 2020. Bureau started operations on 1st of June 2014 with a motor car purchase three years ago for 120000 The latest valuation estimated the worth of the car to 75000 On the same day, Bureau opened a checking account at a local bank for 20000 15000 of which were proceeds of a loan from Embron. After the first six months of operation, B. Ross recorded drawings of 17,300 and a loss of 21,500. Part E states the meaning of the following accounting concept historical costs, and Part 2 prudence. It's the first historical course. Historical course, all transactions are to be recorded at the original course to the business without adjustment for changes in the value due to inflation. Okay, the, the key words there are they are the original course of the item to the business and there are to be no adjustment for changes. And this is why we normally have two accounts for assets. One is to record the original cost or the historical cost, and the other is to record the depreciation or the change that may occur, the value of the asset or in the state of the asset. Next, we have prudence. Prudence is a reference to the frame of mind of the accountant when he is dealing with the figures. He must take a realistic view of the situation, especially where uncertainty and estimates are involved. He should neither overstate nor understate amounts. Okay, at this point I should mention that there's a popular view that states that uh, the, you should understate rather than overstate. Uh, understating is no different from overstating, it's just as bad and um, it is certainly not being prudent. Okay, so you should neither overstate nor understate amount. Prudence is usually summed up in the following statement. Record revenues only when they are earned and losses as soon as they are foreseen. Okay, so you have to earn your revenues first before you can record them and you what your losses you do the opposite as soon as you can foresee it. For instance if you hear that one of your debtors has gone bad and he has a big account in your books, you have to write off the debt as soon as you investigate it and find out that it is true. Part B, what should be Ross record for the motor car in the books of the business? It should record 75,000. This is the original cost to the business. Okay, the one around 20,000 was not the cost to the business. This was the cost to B. Ross three years ago. But he's now bringing it into the business at the value or the cost to the business is 75,000. Okay, remember what we said here? It must be the cost to the business. But see, 
identify and explain the concept which allows B Ross to record the motor car invested in the business as a non current asset or a fixed asset. So part C that uh, concept is the going concern concept and the assumption that the business will continue to operate in the foreseeable future more than one year. In relation to the car, the benefits of using will last for more than one year and the going concern concepts allows us to record it as a non-current asset because it's going to last for more than one year. If the business was going to last for a shorter period, the value of the vehicle could very well be different. Should the general entry is required to record the formation of B. Ross's business on the 1st of June 2014. So what they require is the opening entry here. Okay, you can make one entry like this. Open entry. So you know he's bringing in the motor van at 75,000. So we'll go with that. And we have here, he's opening a bank account for 20,000. So we have cash and bank of 20,000. So you know too that he has a loan for Embron. A loan is a credit balance of 15,000. So when we put these together, the capital uh, balancing figure would be 80,000 here. Okay, so asset minus liabilities, 75 and 20 will give us 95 minus 15, give us 80,000 as the capital. And the narrative, so open the books of euros by recording the assets and liabilities at that time. Okay, so um, you must remember here the narrative is part of the journal entry and it should have it there as well. There was an alternative answer to that. Also acceptable, you could have done it in two parts. The motor van recorded uh, as capital to start and the cash for the loan. As another, the cash that he puts into the checking account rather is another part of the capital. Okay, so you have 75 here and you have 5 here, so it gives you 80,000. Should the closing entries now? To record the loss and the drawings for the period back. The, the loss, we are told that the loss for the period is 17,300 and a loss of 21,500. Now, if you don't know how to do a closing entry, you wouldn't know how to do this part. It's just something that you would have learned way back in Form 4 opening and closing entries, right? What you have to do is transfer your profit to your capital because profit increases capital. In this case, he has made a loss and that will decrease his capital. So you still have to transfer it to his capital and uh, his drawings also will decrease his capital and you have to transfer that as well into the Recording the drawings and the loss in the general journal. So you debit the capital, this will reduce it, and both items, the loss as well as the drawings, would reduce the amount. And you close it to close off loss and drawings to the capital account. Now, this too could have been done in two parts like this one part for the loss and one part for the drawings. 
the management of bureaus intends to operate a paperless environment and hires a training accountant. Within the week on the job, the training, man training accountant is seen to be consistently using BlackBerry Messenger while working. In addition, the trainee occasionally logs on to Facebook using the computer on which the financial information is stored. Outline three controls that the management can implement to ensure the integrity of the accounting record. Okay, uh, they require three, I have any four here. One, you give clear guidelines on the use of communication devices. They, you know, you should make it clear to the employee what your guidelines are for the use of communication device. Restrict access to sites with social media, personal email, etc. on your computers. Right? Make sure that you cannot get into the social media when you're not looking. But by putting restrictions on it, like passwords mm -hmm. and things like that. Institute a system for monitoring employees' online activities. So you must have a formal system, right? For monitoring all your employees, not just the uh, trainee accountant. And uh, if in the chance some of them still manage to get in, you have to be able to back up your recovery and recover your information in case they go on to sites that have virus and so on. So institute a system of backup and recovery of information in case of virus attacks or loss of information. Using table one provided as an insight, do the effect of each of the following transactions in the cash book and statement of comprehensive income of business limited for the year ended the year June 2014. If the accrual basis of accounting is used, one example has been done for you on the internet. Pay rent of six months ending the year September 2014. This particular one was done. The insert looks something like this. We have the numbers of the different items here. And the cash book and income statement has been added in here. Right, the first one was done and it said this. Decrease of a hundred of twelve thousand and the income statement said increase in rent expense six thousand. Uh, you might want to ask what happened with the other additional six thousand. Well, according to the dates here, it would have been prepaid and would not have been in the income statement. The next item said bad debt 1500 written off during the accounting year. So that will have no effect on the cash book because it does not involve neither, either cash or checks. And on the income statement, we would have an increase in bad debt expense of 1500. The next item, fixed years purchase for 74000 on 2nd of July 2015 by check. Okay, so this is in the first month of the financial year, 2nd of July. And uh, it's going to decrease our cash at bank or by 74000 the income statement on the other hand will have no effect. Depreciation of fixed years purchased on 2nd July 2015 is charged at a rate of 15% using the straight line method. 
So these fixtures here, 74,000. This is at the beginning of the, the year, two days inside the year. So we will charge a whole year's depreciation on it. So we 15% of 74,000. And we will get 11,100. Increased depreciation of 11,100. Invoice for electricity amounting to 3,700 on the month of 30th of June 2014, not received nor paid. So it does not have any cash involved there, so it will not affect the cash book. And there would be an increase in the electricity expense of 3700 in the income statement. 